When it comes to Storm vs Shadow Friend matchup, it is actually extremely simple, just reach level 6. It doesn't really matter if you farm lane, farm jungle, just sat under tower soaking XP, as long as you reach level 6 and Shadow Friend is not super ahead, you won this matchup. Now let's break down the laning stage. For starting items, stats don't matter much, because you exceed SF's starting damage anyway and need no help last hitting or denying with right clicks. What you do need to worry about, however, are raises. Purchasing a wand in advance and shipping self soon after lets you stay on top of the region game. And since runes only spawn from minute 4 now, you're going to invest our laning economy purely into regeneration and staying alive. Now one thing is to heal up the raise damage and another thing is to not get hit by raises at all, since we know that the most efficient way for Shadow Friend to last hit is to hit both the creep and storm at the same time, we're going to position ourselves in a way that makes it inconvenient for SF to spend raises, stay further away from creeps and never get too close to either third melee raise. When performing the Vortex combo, unless you're sure you can get a kill, always retreat out of the melee raise range. Triple raise adds up quickly and is the most common laning mistake a player laning against SF can make. And this pretty much is the bulk of our laning strategy. Avoid getting triple raised, salve off and a double raise, and in between take what last hits you can and what vortex combos are convenient at moments. You might be thinking, hell, that's a lot of gold to be spent on regen. In a way, yes, you could just jungle and collect stat items instead, but with you being in a lane, you're forcing Shadow Friend to buy regen too, trading resources equally and collecting lane XP, which is superior to jungle XP. As soon as you hit level 6, SF's laning is over. Bounty. As long as you have near full mana pool and extra mangoes for emergency, you can easily dive under tower and get a kill almost any time. Was coming. Once a Seth can no longer show to lane, just keep looking for him in the jungle. Either he will die again or force rotations to protect him. All of the space for your team, none of the space for theirs. And this concludes the matchup. I will leave you with the rest of the match. Thank you for watching. Good luck. I'm over here. Over here. The fun begins. Radiant's bottom tower seem better days. Radiance mid.
Death Towers. Hmm. <laughs> 